what's going on guys what's going on guys welcome back to my channel this is shocks and this is shocks capital fx so today guys today we are going to talk about how institutions manipulate or trick you using chart patterns into entering trades where you shouldn't be entering your trades so what i'm talking about involves an impulse a chart pattern a demand zone or a supply zone guys before we go and further guys if you are new to this channel consider subscribing turn on your post notification bell so that you don't miss a quality video from us chart patterns how do banks how do institutions use these things to trick you into entering trades which you shouldn't be entering so guys as you stay at your chart if you have been following me you will know that we start by looking at the market structure and you start by looking at the direction of the power moves these are what i call the power moves you start by looking at the direction of the impulses direction of the impulses because you know the market moves with an impulse and a correction and impulse and a correction so these chart patterns you are talking about are what are corrections so we first you have an impulse like in this case we have this impulse move here then we have this correction so a correction is not necessarily a movement in one line like we can we can represent an impulse move with one line like we did in this case because it's such an aggressive move that moves straight to the point and a correction moves in waves it doesn't move in a straight line so this is a behavioral what correction this is a consolidation a move back to what to to a demand zone to an order block where they are unfilled what unfilled orders so what we are going to talk about here, to talk about here uh, is how do we trade and how do we know when the trapping is being done so uh, first of all we identify an impulse then we identify a what a golden zone or a, a supply zone if we are going down and if we are going up we identify what we call a, a demand zone or an bullish order block like in this case so want to look in this case and price moved down then started coming up so we want to identify how is it correcting what's this pattern so as you can see this looks like a flag pattern so we have this pole the pole being the aggressive move then the flag then another pole the move which is identical to the first move or identical in terms of range so what i'm saying is you don't have to enter your trades after this breakout here as you are taught in the books as you are taught by your mentors wait for a break then a, a retest then you enter i'm here to tell you that you have to understand that these first two touches to the what to the to this upper trend line of a flag will happen the third one the third touch is going to happen either at a supply zone or at a demand zone depending on which direction you are looking at so these flags and these triangles are very common and they are used to trap so instead of entering your trades in this consolidation zone you see here in these consolidations you should wait and enter at this supply zone after one two touches to the box and you enter on the third touch and target the same range as this first pole or the first move depending on the type of a chart pattern you are seeing so this is a flag pattern trapping to the what to the to the supply zone and going down so you have entered your trade here or here if you have missed this so you have entered first your trade and targeted this direction you have caught this and maybe you have increased your your positions here why because we are having what we call a breaking market structure and a return to the what to the supply zone or to the order block so this is it let's go and look at more examples so these are chart patterns i marked here these are all chart patterns and i'm going to show you how you trade these chart patterns with supply and demand or with order flow so first of all we have an aggressive move down yes then we have our what our consolidation back to what back to our demand zone in this area so they have entered the trade targeted the same range as this first pole 
in this case because it's the what it's a flag pattern then in this case it's some sort of a triangle you know these patterns better than me of course so this is a, a triangle and this triangle was used to trap upwards and if you can see we are having some kind of a pattern in this area again so this is this will be a, a, a flag and this will be your demand zone where you'll be entering your trade so you enter here if stop loss goes above the demand zone and target this move as you see in this area then let's look at this this is a bullish aggressive move then a trap down and this trap stops at what at a demand zone you enter here you target this this is how you are identifying these trap zones and these uh, patterns using what using demand and supply and your knowledge of what of chart patterns the let's this is gbp usd we have the impulse here that's number one impulse then after the impulse you are seeing a correction back to what back to a demand area so if you don't know guys how to spot these demand zones or these order blocks check out our video on order blocks and you know how you identify these order blocks so in this case we are just going to mark them assume you know them so this is a triangle pattern you're trapping this touch number one touch number touch number two is here then touch number three at the what at the demand zone and you are in your trade targeting this first what this first impulse then you see here we have another impulse that's your impulse number one then we have a demand zone a move back to the demand zone you enter here you target this first impulse as your what as your to profit from this zone so you have hit your your targets there then you also have this breaker so this is a breaker pattern then a move back to the supply zone a a correctional move back to the supply zone you enter here so this is the third touch of what of the demand this is number two and this is the first one so this is what you are looking for and this is the impulse and the second impulse so what happens is you are having a first impulse you are having a first impulse then a move back like this you are having a move back then you are having another impulse so your job is to identify a demand zone in this area then this consolidation back to the demand zone forming some kind of a chart pattern so your identification of of the chart pattern is your confluence and this demand zone uh, is your what is your q zone or your so let's look at another picture we have this one this is your demand zone your chart pattern your impulse then you are looking at killing your brokers right here and targeting this what this impulse again so on this one this is a triangle as you can see it's it's more of a, a pennant or something of that sort you know these ones better this is your demand zone and you are entering just like that and you are not waiting for what for a break and a retest that is a thing of the past right now impulse that's number one impulse a correction to a demand zone then another impulse then you see in this area again we have this impulse then your your chart pattern this is a broadening what a broadening triangle then you are having your demand zone like that then an impulse so an impulse down then your chart pattern and your what your, your demand zone so you are looking at chart patterns and what and impulses so if you don't see a chart pattern if you don't see an impulse if you don't see any of these things you are talking about here that's not the 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 trapping code i'm i'm talking about here what i'm talking about involves an impulse a chart pattern a demand zone or a supply zone and the impulse which will happen when you have entered your trade this is what we're talking about this is your demand your chart pattern your impulse so it's impulse chart pattern and demand area or supply area impulse chart pattern and demand area so this is how we're doing it see this is impulse then you have your chart pattern like that then your supply zone and you enter the targeting your range so this is it guys this is how you enter and this is how the institutions trap using these chart patterns so it's everywhere guys you just have to uh, to see it and to to practice how to to identify these zones on your charts 
and after you see it you will never unsee these things it's it's it, it will stay with you it's a skill that you have to to learn after that it will be with you forever this is another one this is a chat pattern look where it came back to a demand zone and you are so you look at this on a chart daily and you see you, it will be easy to identify these trapping mechanisms of institutions to also be easy to trade in line with them so guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this trade what you see shocks capital i'm out